You're listening to international investment advisor Doug Goldstein on the Goldstein on Yelp Show, the financial show where we'll talk about how you can make the most of your money. With all the confusing financial chatter bombarding you each and every day, Goldstein on Yelp will give you the practical information you want and need about living a financially stable life. Here's your host, money maven Doug Goldstein. Okay, we are back. I'm very happy to have on the Goldstein on Gelt show, Roni Hadid, who's an insurance agent for about 12 years in Jerusalem. He's got an MBA, and in fact, he's been in Israel for about 20 years, having come here from Brazil. Roni, a pleasure to have you. Thank you. How are you? Thanks very much. In your capacity as an insurance agent, for those people who are not so familiar, the insurance industry basically handles the pension plans in Israel. So could you explain what are the, the different parts of what's referred to as a bituach minahalim, a manager's insurance product? Yeah. In Israel, we have two kinds of pension plans. One is called a pension plan. Uh, care and pension, and we have what you said, Bituach Minalim, a manager insurance, something called like this. They are two ways of saving money for further using this money in your elder, in your time when you really have to receive this money like a retirement. Yeah, so, you want me to explain more about these two kinds, Doc? Yeah, let's hear the, the difference and, and what, they, what makes them up. Okay. Uh, usually, a pension fund in Israel, it's like a big tank that you and me and everyone else that have a pension fund put his money inside. It's like a collective, uh, a, a big place to everyone put his money. And this money is holded in a collective way. And then when you go to retirement, you receive some of the money inside of this tank. But all the money from everyone there is managed all together. And between Minalim, in another side, you have like a, a specific savings account in your name and uh, you are accumulating your money there. And when you retire, you get your part of your own account. So there are good things about pension funds, about this accumulation way, and there are bad things about, and also about Bituch Minalim, you have good and bad things. Okay, In so let me, general, let me just clarify the difference. A Karen Pensia, a pension plan, is a pooled asset. Everyone puts his money in, and the, the insurance company manages it, and eventually, when you get to be of age, then you take out your piece, and I guess the amount that you get is dependent on how well the insurance company managed the money. Mm -hmm. That was correct. And the bituach minahalim is that each person will have his own his own account and therefore will not necessarily get the same thing that, that his neighbor gets. Exactly. But even today, in pension funds, you can also uh, try to say to the Pension from how you, which kind of way you want your money to be held and invested. But in general terms, pension funds are cheaper. They take little, smaller bites from your money in commission during the time. But in between Alim, you have a greater way and the shlita. You have a, a greater domain of how your money can be managed. In the, in the long run, up to your retirement period. Okay, so let's talk more about the Bituach Menahalim, which you can control. What are the different parts you can actually control? What we're talking about control is that in Israel today, when you put money aside inside a Bituach Menahalim environment, the money that some kind of maslulim, you can try to choose what kind of mix of investment or let's say a micro portfolio, how your money can be managed. For example, you can say that you want the money in a muscle that says that 30% is going to be on stocks and 20% uh, is going to be on bonds 
and uh, whatever. That's the way you can tell them where exactly we, how they're going to manage your money. In, in this way, usually for younger people, they are advised to have more masturbim with greater percentages of stocks. And for people that are older, older guys, they are already in, in, in this 50s or 60s or before their retirement, their percentage of stocks in the Betuah Minalim portfolio is lower and let's say like a more moderate portfolio and that's the way it goes. You can, when in all the way through your accumulating time, during your working time, you can change this kind of portfolio or how do you think or using some kind of advisor and then you prepare yourself to the retirement, your retirement area. Okay. We are talking with Roni Hadid, who is a 12-year veteran in the insurance industry in Israel. He, in fact, he's been in Israel for about as long as I have, around 20 years. Roni's been explaining to us the difference between two types of pension plans. One of them is called a bituach minahalim, which is normally translated as manager's insurance. And he compared it to a Karen Pensia, which would be translated as a pension plan. And he also gave us another word in our Goldstein on Gelt Ulpan using the word maslul or maslulim, which means path, meaning when you have a bituach minahalim plan, you can choose which path you want the insurance company to invest for you. Now, Rona, I'd like to dig in even further because Bituach Minahalim plans have an insurance component as well as a savings component, and the insurance component itself is broken up between life and disability. How does that work? Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you for your correction. Using the path, path for the Maslul. Thank you. And the uh, what we have exactly is like this. You have the savings area of the Betuah Nalim. Betuah Nalim is divided, as you said, in three major parts. Most of the money that people put in the Betuah Nalim is for, is the, actually the money that we are saving for our retirement time. Some of the money is used to buy two kinds of insurance. One is life insurance, and another one is the, uh, how you say in English, sorry, uh, of Dan Kosher, of that disability insurance, Dis that's disability right? Disability insurance, disability. Yeah, the disability insurance, thank you. And uh, that's the way is in the terminal limb. Actually, in pension funds, you also have these kinds of insurance, but in, in a collective way, that's a mutual kind of insurance, that it's not used to be classified uh, so much ihuti uh, uh, quality insurance like in the Betur Minalim. So the way it is today is like this. In one way, maybe saving the money itself, today pension funds, most people want to say that you're going to receive more money in your retirement time because of some new characteristics today about pension funds and Bituah Minalim. In another way, the insurance component of Bituah Minalim is used to be viewed like a superior one in terms of comparison with the pension fund, if I was clear. So let's, let's look at a specific case. Let's say that a fellow uh, works in a company, he has a Bituah Minalim plan, and part of that has includes the life insurance. Is it better for him to put more money into the life insurance component of this plan, or is it better for him to put more money into savings and, let's say, buy a term life insurance policy separately? Yeah, uh, the second, uh, let's say, the second alternative that you just mentioned used to be there. What I'm saying is that if someone can increase money that he's putting inside this Bitur Minalim formula, that most of the money is going to accumulate for his retirement time, it's better than using this money inside the plan for insurance. As you said, you can buy a standalone pulse that you pay by yourself for life insurance, for your life insurance needs, and then that's we used to try to advise people and try to use 
most of the money or even all your money that's going for savings inside the Bitcoin Halim for retirement. And that's it. And usually, sometimes you get formula for people that 90, 95% or 97% of their money in Bitcoin Halim is going actually for his savings for retirement time and just a small percentage for the of Dan Kosher of Oda. That's the disability. That is a very thank you again. <laughs> and all his his entire uh, okay. life insurance needs is being covered by an uh, external policy that he's paying maybe by himself. Yeah, okay. exactly. That used to be the maybe the best way for using and holding a bitur minalim in Israel. So it's, we're, we're running out of time, but I just want to touch on the disability side of it. There's a, a maximum amount that you can actually get to cover your disability. How much is that? Yeah, the disability insurance by law in Israel, you can buy around 75% of your actual wage, your gross wage. It says, for example, let's say that someone has a 10,000 shekels uh, wage. He can buy, he's entitled to buy uh, disability insurance of 75%. That's it. In this case, uh, seven, uh, 7,000 and a half shekels per month. That's what you say that it doesn't help you. You have some different uh, disability insurance. In the end of the game, you're just going to receive from the insurance company just 75% of your wage. So it's limited. It's an unlimited amount. And usually we know how much it's going to cost for someone and can help us to plan exactly how to behave with his whole bitur minalim. Right. Now, I think it's very important that people make sure that they've maximized the amount of disability insurance that they have because younger workers are much more likely to get disabled than to die. And the cost of being disabled is is uh, is very high. We, we make the joke a lot that uh, the difference between being disabled and being and dying is that if you're disabled, you still have to eat, and therefore you need an ongoing revenue stream. Roni, we're just about out of time, but you've covered some very important uh, parts of the Israeli pension area for us. Just tell me in the last few seconds, how can people follow you or, or learn more about what you do? Yeah, you can just Google Hadid, H-A-D-I-D, insurance in the Internet, either in English or in Hebrew. I'm going to think in the first page, you're going to reach my size, my site of Hadid uh, Insurance Agents. And from then, we can even talk in a Skype way, people that are overseas from Israel, or give me a call in Israel, whatever they want. And we have a lot of content to help us, people to realize what to do. Okay. Roni, Had Roni Hadid, thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Doug. You've been listening to the Goldstein on Gelt Show with money maven Doug Goldstein. Doug's weekly radio show is heard around the world, but if you miss it, you can download the podcast at www.goldsteinongelt.com. The Goldstein on Gelt Show gives you up-to-date financial ideas so you can get on the path to financial freedom. If you'd like your questions answered on the air or off, Send Doug an email to Doug at profile-financial.com. It's your money for your future, so join Doug every week to build your wealth on the Goldstein on Gelt Show.